Good afternoon and welcome to these Texan Sports Report. I'm your host, Tyler McDonough, joined by my co-host, Drew Ivory, who did a fantastic job last week as I was out. Drew, thank you for doing that. Good job. No Got problem, a couple man. of interviews in. Yes, sir. You held down the fort by yourself with these Texan Sports Report, so good job. And uh, while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and kick us off football? Will do. Football team won this weekend in a homecoming matchup versus West Texas A&M 41-16. They are now 7-2 on the season, 5-1 in the Lone Star Conference. They move up one spot in the latest Super Region 4 rankings released on October 29th. They are now number 6 in the region rankings. Our own Christoph Martinez named Lone Star Conference Special Teams Player of the Week after breaking the Lone Star Conference field goal record at 64. Lions are now ranked number 16 in the AFCA coaches poll going into this week. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we got a little bit of help there from Tarleton as they beat Midwestern State. We yes. swapped, swapped places with them. Mm -hmm. They fell from 6 to 7. We jumped up from 6 to 7. So I wasn't sure if Midwestern was going to fall out of that top 7, but uh, they stayed ahead of Central Washington, who's in there. Right. Eight. But uh, our D2 guys will probably cover that a little bit. Tarleton uh, did jump up to second place. So, mm -hmm. they, I mean, they're a team to look out for. But, you know, the way we've been playing as of late, I. I'm, you know, I think we've got a good chance to beat either one of them if we yeah. meet them again. That WT loss really hurt Central Washington yeah. in the rankings. They'd be up there right now, probably at number seven if they yep. hadn't lost. Yep. And uh, our soccer team played last Friday as they had their senior night against Midwestern State. The game was played at Kyle Field in Rockwall. The games, unfortunately, a lot of their games this year that were supposed to be played in Commerce had to be moved to Rockwall this year because of the heavy amounts of rain that the field has yeah. just gotten downpoured. So the Lions did have senior night against Midwestern State. Michelle Kotlick in her final game as a Lion in Rockwall slash Commerce. Uh, she did have a goal. She led the Lions all season. Um, as I said, they did win 1-0. to zero. Kotlick was the reason they won that game as she mm -hmm. knocked in her seventh goal of the season. Mm -hmm. So Kotlick's really led the Lions all yeah, year. she's been and, taking over. Yeah, and the Lions will host, I say, that was their final game as, as a Lion. That, that is not the case. As a matter of fact, they will play tonight against Easter, versus Eastern New Mexico here in Commerce as they, they will host the quarterfinal round of the Lone Star Conference Tournament. The Lions will most likely need to win out the conference tournament to get into the NCAA Tournament. But, but like you've said before, resilient group. They really know how to play. Caitlin Dewey, right. and ho hopefully we can get Delaney Bunzelmeyer back, a big part of the Lion defense there. So, Yeah, Lions are number four seed facing the five. So got that home court advantage. If we get to play on one the field. more time, one more time, let's hope they get to play in commerce. So. Right. As for the Lion volleyball team, they hold their spot at number 21 in the AVCA coaches poll after a sweep of UT Permian Basin on senior senior day this Saturday in the field house. The Lions win makes them now 23 and five on the season with a 15 and three Lone Star Conference record. Only two of those two of those losses coming to Tarleton. Yeah. So really, not much after Tarleton. Been pretty good on the season though, and also on a six-game win streak now after that recent loss to Tarleton. Ever, it's it's only been a Tarleton yeah. problem really for us <laughs> in the conference. It's really just Tarleton. Tarleton will host the Lone Star Conference tournament in yeah. Stephenville. Uh, the Lions. It's gonna be tough. It'll be tough because the yeah. Lions are going in as the two seed. I you know you want to beat the best, so right. I think they'd like another crack at Tarleton. Oh, so. definitely, I would. Yeah, just the competitive nature. You gotta you gotta knock them off. Yeah. And basketball is back in action, if we've been talking Ooh. about the last couple days, the yes. uh, last couple weeks. This is Mandarin. the week. Drew has this gotten to it. interview a couple coaches, our very own sports reporter on the men's side, Jordan Ader, has gotten to interview Coach uh, Rosen, Von Rosenberg, and you've gotten to catch up with Coach Brown and Coach Burton. And yes. Here we'll see an interview later from uh, Coach Wilson. Yes. And, um, but the women, they'll be playing as they'll travel down I-35 to take on Baylor. They're going to travel to Waco. That's November 1st in an exhibition yeah. match. Won't count on their record, but it'll be a good good little warm-up for them to play on to play, start the season. Baylor right. is always one of the top-tier programs in Division One basketball, so that'll be good. Good little warm-up for them. And then November 9th, they will start their home opener. Not home opener, excuse me. It'll just be their opener against Colorado State Pueblo. That game will be played at the Lubbock Christian tournament then i'll throw things over to the men's side the men will have their first exhibition november 6th against as they'll travel down south texas that you play on ut rio grande valley and their first game will be november 9th as they will play against oklahoma christian in the lone star conference heartland challenge in lawton oklahoma been beyond ready for basketball oh, season yeah. man oh yeah you can check out all things at tmuc east and follow us on social media